Hi, in this video, let us discuss about spherical harmonics. If you consider the separation of variable of Laplace equation, or the separation of variables of Helmholtz equation, or the space dependence of electromagnetic wave equation, or our Schrodinger wave equation for central force field, example, Schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom problem, then the equation will be of this form, del square phi plus k square f of r into psi is equal to zero. Now this is the Laplacian operator, del square, and the angular part dependent. The angular part comes entirely from the Laplacian operator, and the equation will be, angular dependence of the equation, that equation will be phi of phi by sin theta, d by d theta, sin theta into d capital theta by d theta plus capital theta of theta by sin square theta d square capital phi by phi d phi square plus n into n plus 1 theta of theta into phi of phi is equal to 0. Now first of all consider the azimuthal dependence part. Azimuthal angle means here phi and the polar angle will be theta. Okay. So the azimuthal dependence and orthogonality. The separated azimuthal equation will be 1 by phi of phi d square phi of phi by d phi square is equal to minus m square and the solutions will be phi of phi is equal to e raised to minus i m phi and e raised to i m phi. Here m is an integer and this satisfies, this phi of phi satisfies an orthogonal condition. 0 to 2 pi e raised to minus i m1 phi into e raised to i m2 phi d phi is equal to 2 pi into delta m1 m2. So this is the orthogonality condition. Now using the orthogonality condition, you can normalize this function. And if you normalize the function phi of phi, then phi of phi of phi will be equal to phi m will be equal to 1 by root 2 pi e raised to i m phi. Here 1 by root 2 pi is the normalization constant. And this, this phi, this wave, this function is orthonormal with respect to the integration over the azimuthal angle phi. Now orthonormal means orthogonal plus normalized. Orthogonality condition and plus normal normalize is the wave function or the function. Okay. So that's about the ortho the azimuthal dependence and orthogonality. Okay. Now, let us consider our equation again. Phi of phi by sin theta into d by d theta, sin theta into d theta by d theta. Now, this is capital theta. Again, capital theta by sin square theta, d capital phi by d phi square plus n into n plus 1, capital theta into capital phi is equal to 0. Now, this capital theta is function of theta. Also, capital phi is a function of phi. Okay. Now this is equation 12.145. This equation number is equation number in textbook. Or you can sixth edition le sixth edition le equation number ani. Yani koru thetlo. Nuko pattern na equation ay adam textbook ko nuko mo pattern na manchala amadi. Identify amadi thana textbook le same equation number ay use hi. Okay. Now I am multiplying this equation by sine square theta by capital theta, and I will divide by phi of phi. That means amala this equation ay sin square theta by capital theta divided by capital theta into capital phi. This term on the multiplier. So if you multiply this equation with this, this term, then you will get this equation as this equation. Sin theta by theta and multiply the cancel of the equation. Now in this equation, 1 by phi d square phi by d phi square on the term and separate the Separation constant and minus m square. So this term and minus m square and substitute here, you will get this equation. Okay. And if you multiply that equation by capital theta by sine square theta, then you will get associated legendary equation that we have already discussed. And the solutions will be P N M cos theta. Okay. So number associate legendary equation get. Now, this is equation number 12.80 or 12.80. Now, to include the negative values of M, we will have the associate legendary equation M integer and but M is positive. Now, in order to include negative values of M, I am using Rodriguez formula 
and according to Rodriguez formula, P n of x is equal to 1 by 2 n n factorial d by dx raised to n x square minus 1 raised to n. Now, in the definition of P n m of x, we have P n m of x is equal to 1 minus x square raised to m by 2 d raised to m by dx raised to m P n of x. Okay. So, this equation, P n m of x, we will substitute here. So, this P n m of x is equal to 1 minus x square raised to m by 2 d raised to m by dx raised to m. So, this much we will substitute this equation. Then, P n of x, we will substitute the formula. So, 1 by 2 n factorial d by dx raised to n x square minus 1 whole square whole raised to n. Okay. So, on the rearrange is that P n m of x is equal to 1 by 2n n factorial to constant derivative 1 minus x square raised to m by 2 this term and d raised to m over d raised to n and so d raised to m plus n by dx raised to m plus n x square minus 1 raised to n now here m varies from minus n to plus n okay so we the normal associate legendary functions p n m of x in the formula now, this PNM of X we will normalize here. So, the solution is PNM of X will normalize here. You will get this equation. You will get the normalized associated legendary functions as root of 2N plus 1 by 2 N minus M factorial by N plus M factorial into PNM cos theta. And M varies from minus N to N. And... This so e function I will consider but this is our this is our normalizing normalization constant and PNM cos theta. PNM of x and PNM cos theta and represent it. And this is our normalization constant. So this function is so this this, this form is orthonormal with respect to theta. So now we have equation and orthonormal with respect to theta. And here we have with respect to phi normalize it to phi m of phi is equal to 1 by root 2 pi e raised to i m phi. So, with, so this is orthonormal with respect to this with, with phi and with respect to integration over azimuth angle. And here, now this legend, this associate legendary functions normalize is with respect to orthonormal with respect to integration over theta. Now, these end functions name, this functions, function name, that's why we represent either phi m in a m would multiply the number new function define here. And that new function is said to be spherical harmonic. Okay. So, this is spherical harmonic. Ynm of theta phi. So, Ynm of theta phi is the key. We have e raised to im phi by 1 by root 2 pi. E part to another. Phi m is the time. Now, phi m into then this equation. This equation is multiplied. Okay. So, once again. I am repeating the point. So I have I so I have I have taken the product of two functions to get a function of two variables that are orthonormal over the spherical surface. That is theta elum phi elum orthonormal over the entire spherical surface orthonormal algorithm function and define zero. And that function is denoted as y n m theta phi. And that is said to be spherical harmonic because they are defined over the surface of a sphere with theta polar angle and phi azimuth angle. So, what is spherical in the term? Now, harmonic in the equation varan karanam, the harmonics was included because solutions of Laplace equations were called harmonic functions. That's why we call this as the harmonic in the term would include it. So the only add is that y n m theta phi is said to be the spherical harmonics. Okay, so y n m theta phi is equal to minus one raised to m root of two n plus one by four phi n minus m factorial by n plus m factorial p n m cos theta into e raised to i m phi. Okay, now. P n m cos theta nam kariya mangal nam kandiya bachum y n m cos theta kana bachum because the equation le namale m n m namale kona nama mulo sab substitute in values ham suppose I want to find out y one one then n one na na m one na 
or I want to find out, suppose I am going to determine, first I am going to determine the value of y, 0, 0. N m m 0 is there. So, what I am going to minus 1 raise to m 0 is there. Then 2 raise to n plus 1, back n and m is substitute to n. Okay, so, so here I am going to add a little bit. So, first I am going to determine y, 0 of 0, theta 5. So, just to mean y, 0 of 0, theta 5 is going to be there. Now theta 5 will be equal to minus 1 raised to 0, that will be equal to 1. Then root of 2, 0 is 1 by 4 pi, back here 1 by 4 pi. Then n minus m, n to m is 0, 0 factorial is 1. Then again here also 0 factorial, 1 to 1 now. Then you have p 0, 0 cos theta into e raised to 0, e raised to i m 0, e raised to 0. Oh, so you would have to square so that will be, you know, P0, 0, we have 1, we have 0, we have 1, so this will be equal to 1 by root 4 pi, y0, 0, 0. Okay, now let us find out y1, 1. So what is y1, 1 theta 5? y1, 1 theta 5 will be equal to minus 1 raised to 1, we have m in 1, we have then 2 into n, 2 into 1, so 2 plus 1, 3, we have so root of 3 by 4 pi verum. Then n 1 and m 1. Anna. So 1 minus 1 0 factorial verum. That is will be equal to 1. Then 1 plus 1 is 2 verum. So 1 by 2 verum. 1 by 2. Then p 1 1 e raised to i 5 verum. Okay. Now what is p 1 1? p 1 1 is equal to sin theta. Okay. So this will be equal to minus sin and now then root e 3 by h 5 by 2 4 by 2 by so 3 by root 3 by h 5 p 1 1 is equal to sin theta into e raised to i 5 so this is y 1 1 theta 5 and y 1 1 theta 5 the next table no come so here we have the table y 0 of 0 is equal to 1 by root 4 by number of determinant 0 y11 theta 5 is minus 3 minus root of 3 by 8 pi into sin theta into e raised to 5. So, number obtain zero. Similarly, you can obtain y10, y1, this all spherical harmonic situations. So, number Okay. Now, let us see now in quantum mechanics, this equation, some angular part dependence of this equation is actually orbital angular momentum equation and the solutions of this equation will be represented by y l m theta phi so the solutions of this equation they will represent in quantum mechanics you represent as y l m theta phi okay so number of the solutions y n m theta phi you no know? So instead of cap L, you have N, and instead of small m, you have capital M. That is only different. And then YLM theta phi is actually the angular momentum eigenfunction. Angular momentum eigenfunction. And you represent capital L as the angular momentum quantum number. And M will be the projection of this angular momentum quantum number L or M can be said to be the Z-axis projection of L. M is Z-axis projection of L and L is the angular momentum quantum number. Okay. Now, if we plot the YLM theta phi, then we will get following curve, following shapes. So, YLM theta phi is a spherical shape. Theta is 5. The polar angle is the azimuthal angle. The 3D curve is the When M is equal to 0, N is equal to 0, you will get a spherical shape. So, the hydrogen atom wave function is the 1 as orbital shape. We have already hydrogen atom orbital shape. Now, when M is equal to 0, N is equal to 1, P orbitals are the shape. Yeah, M is equal to 1, L is equal to 1. Okay. Now, M 0, L 2, M 1, L 2, M 2, L 2, M 0, L 3. Okay. So, other forms of 
സ്പെറിക്കൽ ഹാർമോണിക്സ് സ്പെറിക്കൽ ഹാർമോണിക്സ് ബാക്കിയുള്ള പിന്നെ പ്ലോട്ട് കിട്ടും അപ്പൊ ദീസ് പ്ലോട്ട്സ് ആർ ആക്ച്വലി ത്രീ ഡി ഷേപ്പ് ത്രീ ഡി പ്ലോട്ട്സ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ സോ നമ്മൾ കളർ കോമ്പിനേഷനിൽ പ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്താൽ നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ പ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യാം സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദി പ്ലോട്ട്സ് ഓഫ് സ്പെറിക്കൽ ഹാർമോണി ഹാർമോണിക്സ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് സ്പെറിക്ക